game we play. The Puff Menace. So this time we have we have Marth Puff. Um, La Luna coming in as the number one seed today. Big Kid was nine. He got an upset, a uh, very slight upset on Hostel Gato to um, to make it out in Winterside in his pool. Um, so I know with La Luna, uh, last time he played Two Saint, he actually did beat. Him. Uh, Two Saint was talking about that how he he felt that he, had, he normally does well against Marth, and last time Luna beat him. Um, okay. So I I think that it's safe to say that La Luna is one of the the Marths who do pretty well against. Marth. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, it gets a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. And these are two guys from the same region. Yeah. So, so I'm sure, like, Big Kid and Luna play maybe not too often, but fairly often. But pretty even so far. This is always one of those matchups where it, it's pretty... I know everyone likes to say it's a 50-50, but it seems like such a hard 50. Yeah, like, you know, it's... You know, the interesting thing is that Marth can, you know, can space out just like Puff can. You know, a lot of characters can't do that mm -hmm. just, just because of the nature of like, their hitboxes. So. Nice edge guard there from uh, from Big Kid. Using that's a big brain play. Yeah. I always loved edge guards where it's you just re grabbing ledge. It's like it's cute. Big combo. I wonder. Um, I wonder if Moon has. Or excuse me, La Luna has a lot of the new technology that Zane has started to incorporate. You know, I feel like difference. all the top Marths are at least beginning to implement that. Oh, oh, it was such a great chance for Big Kid. Was able to get the knockdown on the platform twice. All right, both guys still just feeling each other out after La Luna got a fantastic combo to put Big Kid up, but hasn't really been able to follow. Uh, find anything after that very, very quick 80% this stop. So, I know that you, you see a lot of the, the puffs in our region. We have, we have both Pig and Toussaint. And I, I feel like you've probably seen Billy play this matchup a fair amount. What, what, what do you think the Marths need to do to, to succeed here? I think, I think Puff in this matchup, a lot of Puffs like to rely on like these weird dress setups um, with crouch canceling. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I fully expect the moon is not going to fall for any of those tricks. I think that you absolutely have to, to not fall for those tricks because Puff will just absolutely destroy Mars with it. Um, and then, otherwise, you know, I expect Mars to, to sort of abuse their you know, long hitboxes, you know, in neutral. <laughs> you know, Marth has the luxury of just being able to sit there and throw out fair. You know, a lot of characters can't do that. So. Doesn't Puff have the luxury of being able to just throw out bears? Yeah, yeah, that's true. As, as we say that, Puff hits with three straight bears. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good move. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Ooh, oh, nice tech. beautiful tech, but still in a weird position. Not able to make so back. Big, big hit, uh, up on the first game. Yeah, he's holding his own. He's done a really nice job of extending his stocks after taking a lot of damage early on. I feel like he's playing pretty patient, but also has a slight, slight little pressure. Mm -hmm. Interesting play style. No, he's he's definitely. He, I feel like it's a uh, puff dash dances. Like, Puff players and their ability to dash dance is always sort of underrated. And I think that's actually one of the things Big Kid's done really well. He's done a really nice job of using his aerial drift, dash dancing a little bit, just finding his way into these awkward spaces for Marth where he's able to sort of get inside of his hitboxes and, uh, you know, put in some nice damage. I mean, you're seeing it here where Big Kid's been able to stay it's up to 175. Mm -hmm. La Luna finally able to pop the balloon. But he's working from behind. Oh, gets two grabs. Dangerous F smash, but Big Kid not able to get the punish. Oh, let's 
see if that hits it. Oh, Puff, Puff just has such a good coverage. Puff, I... Those multi-jumpers, man. He catches him with the, with the forward smash. Oh, nice. Great wow. edge card. I love seeing him just sort of... I think that's the first time we've really seen Big Kid uh, drop down for that. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the first time he's done that. Big Kid, you know, 1-0 one one the Luna. Up 1-0 against La Luna. Yeah, impressive. Going to Yoshi's. Not a surprise here. I think we're going to be seeing uh, far fewer 200% puff stocks. Yeah. You know, if puff starts living to 200 on this stage, that's probably a bad sign. But I do... So... Just like that, able to get the tipper. La Luna looking much more comfortable, I'd say. Yeah, La Luna saying, you know, I'm still here. Like, don't count me out. Yeah, Yoshi's story definitely going to be a very strong stage for this counter pick. Doing a really nice job of just spacing around all of uh, Big Kid's crouching. Yeah, he's getting a lot of combos. It's a fair. Just utilizing our sword really well. And also doing a nice job of delaying the forward air. Um, so that you can deal with Crouching Puff and just like that. La Luna taking a bigger lead. That was a pretty difficult, like, double, double dip. Like, he had to jump out there. Mm -hmm. get, the get the dash back. So. <laughs> he went for the the down air again. I think he could have gone for a reverse LP right there. I probably would have hit. But. Might have hit, but it, I, I, that seems like a dangerous position. Oh, oh, you hate to see that type of thing happen. Yeah, so this game is just like completely different from the first game. La Luna's being really assertive. Um, just looking more confident in general. Mm -hmm. No, it definitely seems like La Luna sort of found the, the pace and flow of this game. Yeah, he's playing at his speed right now. Alright. La Luna. Is Big Kid going to be able to bring this back? Nice little string right there. But not able to turn it into anything just like that at 103 off stage. Was that a dare? I think that was a dare. Was, was that a dare? Yeah. <laughs> I guess Puff is that percent. It's that percent on Yoshi's. Makes a little, makes some sense. Yeah, so All right, we are going to Dreamland, unsurprisingly. Yeah. This is like every Puff stage. Especially against Mars. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be hard for, for Boots to get a lot of early kills on this stage. So. Yeah, I'm really curious to see if he's able to turn anything. Uh, I want to know how much Big Kid is going to get out of these stocks. Whether Big Kid's going to be living until... Uh, living until 200 again, or... I actually really like the way that Luna was using a uh, down air in that last game. Yeah, so. just pop it, pop up, you know, get the follow-ups. Yeah, I think that was one of the big adjustments that we saw from uh, from Puff, or from Luna in uh, game two. All right, no follow there. Ooh. The Nair gonna catch him off stage, but Big Kid able to make his way back. Big hit so far in this game has been able to slow down, slow down the game, kind of like game one. So, looks like he's made a pretty good adjustment so far. Alright, edge guard opportunity. Ooh, gives up the ledge at the last second. Marth just barely able to hang on. Yeah, that's kind of tough because you don't know if Marth's going to land on stage. Alright, first stock for La Luna. Let's see if Big Hit can close, close this out. Yeah, I think that's going to be, honestly, that's what I want to see from both of them. How are, how are they going to close stocks out after uh, giving up a little bit of time? Giving up a little bit of a lead, giving up a little bit of pressure. Where we've seen La Luna's extended this stock to 72 extra percent. Yeah, this is a good stock. Alright, 
nice drop down bear from Puff. Yeah, Puff, you know, when he's pitch guarding Marthy, he can just time between the forward air, or excuse me, um, mm -hmm. forward beats in between us. So. All right, Big Kid is almost at tipper, uh, tipper kill percent. Wow. wow. I'm surprised that killed. I think he could have DI'd a little bit better. I think everyone was surprised that killed. Maybe not Luna. I know I was. I don't think he was intending for it. <laughs> just did. It was good pressure that turned into a turned into a kill. Turned into a stock. Yeah, so as we were saying, like it's gonna get hard to get kills for Luna, but he's showing he's showing prowess, you know, he can get these kills relatively early. <laughs> No, I think what's what's we've seen that's uh, he's just done a much better job of converting all these these percentage leads that he was getting in game one into actual stocks into off stage positions, um, where he's forcing Big Kid into more awkward aerial spots, and that's giving him an opportunity to uh, to really start to dominate the the neutral. Yeah, he's also been kind of catching. Oh, that was nice. He's catching a lot of neutral air. Neutral air so mm -hmm. I definitely think that's one of the big adjustments that he's made. Um, I also have to say, I think it's really interesting seeing I, the way that he's approached this matchup with Marth compared to the way that DJ's approached the matchup with Fox. Where when we were watching DJ, DJ was. Uh, forcing Puff to the middle of the stage and able to just pick him apart with projectiles and lasers. Um, while Luna's Marth has had to play a bit more of the chase game, but he's been doing it uh, in the same way, completely in the air. Um, he's pretty much avoided the grounded game and just hitting him with a lot of fares, a lot of dares, trying to pop him up and uh, just stuff approaches. Uh, yeah, in contrast, he's just been holding center quite a bit more. Mm -hmm. Which I guess, like, sort of points to the difference in strength that the characters have. But yeah. I like seeing the, the different ways that people approach a, a problematic matchup. Yeah. And to be honest, Mark doesn't really want to be anywhere near the, the corner because Puff such, has such good edge guard. Yeah. Yeah. And even, even with that, um, Luna's done a great job of mixing up the ways that he's getting back on stage. Uh, Big Kid's really only caught him with uh, a few of the edge guard traps maybe three times this match. All right. Oh, you can, hear, you can hear Big Kid mashing. That's some impressive mashing. Yeah. If you can close out the stock, it's, it's definitely possible. Yeah. I'm not going to do it at 182. Yeah. So, going game four. Luna, yeah. up two to one. Going right back to Dreamland. Yeah. No real surprise there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, see right there. Uh, you saw Big Kid crouch. He's, he's kind of anticipating some sort of a grab so he can get a rest. But La Luna is just not falling for any of it. No, he, the way that he's started to space around uh, Big Kid with forward air, it, it's, it's masterful. Just doing such a great job of controlling space. <laughs> Pound three times. You might yeah. hit him. Third time's a try. All right, so Big Kid able to get back on stage, and Luna with a pretty solid lead thus far, but it's a lead against Puff. Once again, both guys just spacing around each other. Wow. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that killed He was at 135. Yeah. So we are. It, it is the fact that I uh, Moon is ju Luna has just been doing such a great job of racking up damage and not looking to overextend these combos. I think that's one of the traps that a lot of Marths uh, really fall into against Puff is that they try to get a little more than they can than they should and they either give up stage position or they put them in a spot where uh, rest becomes a real issue. Luna unfortunately going down right there. Yeah. 
but he's been very smart with his, with his uh, combos. Not getting greedy, not biting off more than he can chew. Yeah, and also Moon's been, been really good at getting out of the corner mm -hmm. so far in all these matches. I think that, yeah, this is definitely going to kill him. Little... That was an ambitious rest. Yeah, maybe a little but, greedy. But, you know. but it's one of those positions where you're down, you're already at a lot of percent. I, I don't dislike the thinking. I think it's I think it's like a good risk reward play, even if it doesn't necessarily work out. Um, but puts Luna up with a pretty solid lead, a little bit more than stock. That was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I've seen two same practicing that recently on stream. So it's like he's been watching a little bit. No, I, I've seen Big Kid do that before. It's it's okay. it's a very very cool thing. I, I've definitely seen. I think he's worked on that a lot. All right, you know, just one more rest, and this becomes a very even game. And on Dreamland, he that drift is insane. Yeah. All right. So Big Kid trying to find his way back on stage. Gets to the top platform. A little bit of arthritis. Yeah. But at the same time, he, he's doing a great job of just understanding that eventually he'll get there. And there's the rest. Oh, it hits. It kills. Yeah. Just like that, Big Kid is up. Yeah. Just like that, it is tied. Yeah. All right. In the most honest situation in Smash. We're all tied up. Luna doing such a nice job juggling. Yeah, man, he's just not letting Big Kid breathe right now. That's actually a really good way of describing it, is that Luna's pre he, he is he's just trying to suffocate him out. And Big Kid trying to find his way back down on the ground. He's so close, making a great comeback so far. All oh, just barely able to get out of that up tilt. Yeah, so Moon using the down tilts to, to stop any sort of progressive. Sort of oh, Forward Air is going to get there, and that's a 3-1 for La Luna. Big, big adjustment after game one. 